what's up everybody patreon request today we have johnny and gyro from a cover of steel ball run jojo bizarre adventure this is from jealous k on patreon so i am drawing this on a landscape page but it's a it's a portrait so probably it'll, the drawing kind of ends here somewhere on my page because you can't see like all of gyro's hat and all of johnny's shoulder so it kind of ends here just so you're aware of that so i just have landscape i don't have big sort of portrait paper because i always do my drawings on landscape so we're going to start with johnny right so i'm going to start with his eyes so jojo eyes right center point of my page is here right so and johnny's kind of over to the right a little bit so his head is like in here, right? So center point, and we'll come across. And let's go, right? So top eyelid, big Jojo, top eyelid. Yeah, it's like real big. So it goes across and down. Maybe darken this up, make it real dark. Real big eyelashes in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Real massive. And eyelashes actually sticking off as well. Right. And then bottom eyelid curves around. Here, and it's got like a thick edge. And the end. And then you can kind of see the tear duct just there. And kind of like that. Do, 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 do. Right, so then iris, so big half circle for the iris underneath like that the pupil here as well it seems to be colored in blue but we'll just do a black because we can't color it like that and then there's like a highlight here drawn in right like so so then johnny's eyebrows right so We'll just do, we'll get the eyebrows in just before we jump across. It's like the real hairy at the front here. It's like an arrow pointing towards his nose. So it goes like up and underneath his hat. And it's got some like lines on it here, hatching lines or something. And then his like top eyelid line, just there. And that goes around underneath his hat up here. Line in just in out of his nose as well. Do, do, do. Right, so we'll go measure his eye, jump over that distance. That's where his next eye starts. So you could fit an eye in between his two eyes, and then we go again. Make sure you thicken up this top eyelid line and add some eyelashes. Bottom one curves around here and goes up towards the tear duct into there I want to thicken this up a little bit as well I think so he adds so he adds eyelashes actually so like coming off here like off the skin I forgot him on this side so I'll just do that now and 
and we connect that and then there's like this hatching sort of area just there I really feel like um, the artist who draws this, I can't remember his name now, um, really took a jump up in sort of drawings in Steel Ball Run. Is it just me? <clears throat> and then the eyebrow on this side. Oh, the line, real pointy and like hairy at the front. And then just goes like up this way. And then the old nose line there. And the iris and the pupil. So you have a circle, like a half circle, just there. And then the pupil. And then a highlight sort of down here. Eyelid lines like that. Okay, so what we can see at the nose is not much. There might be a little line just here coming down like that. And then down from that a little bit we have like he's drawn in like the tip of his nose, so it like goes around. There, right? And then you have a nostril either side, so like a dark sort of nostril just here. Right? And then the skin for the nostrils is actually drawn in around, so it goes like up this way, around here. This way and around there, and then there's all hatching, right? So the nose comes around here, and there's a dark shadow put in underneath the nose here. You kind of have to draw that in. that and then there is some hatching underneath the nose here and on the side right there it, there can be like some more hatching on the side of the nose right so it's like shadow thing going on here and this can be tricky enough you, know, you want to go lightly and I'm not as good as hatching as this guy so what is his name I can't remember gotta google it sorry oh Iraqi it is Iraqi isn't it Sure it is. Right, so his mouth. Okay, so big Jojo lips. So your lips basically kind of start underneath the inside of the eye here. So in the center of his mouth, right? Comes up across, down, up, and then across again. It's a real long. I got these dimples on the end. Right, so you're kind of just underneath the eye there. And then the top lip, right? So kind of goes up again. Now. Up. And then back this way. And these lines kind of join there. And then there's hatching on the top lip. So this is like all hatched. Like that. 
I think that might that might might be a little bit too long. Just check in here. Yeah, I might have to make that shorter. This one seems okay. But the bottom lip then. It's across real big. And up here. He seems to have, you can see some of his teeth in this. So he's got kind of like an Elvis mouth or something. Uh -huh. It's like a white patch in there. And then there's like a shadow underneath the chin, right? So underneath the lip, should I say here. So it is like hatching. So I think that should be just a little bit shorter. I'm just going to fix that. So it should be like in there somewhere. There and maybe the other side too. I'll just make them a little bit shorter. Maybe there. It's probably a little bit better. This side was okay, I think, but just in case. I'll just do it again. bit better there right so then the chin like so All right so like your proportions of the face then are the pupil to the nose is about the same as nose to chin and then the bottom of the nose to the bottom lip is about the same as bottom and nose to the chin right so your bottom lip is about halfway between nose and chin and nose is about halfway between pupils and chin so here to here tip of his nose about the same as here to here. Okay, that's generally your proportion. And then we go up the side of the face for the jaw. And you're kind of stopping at the edge of the eye there. You're just underneath it, roughly. Because then you go up the side of his face and it's kind of his hairline as well. Doubles up. that right and then there is these sort of jojo lines that go down this way cheekbone sort of things some hatching on the edge i won't do all of it because it's, it's we don't need to really do all of it if you want you can Okay, so then he's got this hat, right? And it's got this sh horseshoe that goes right here, right? So the hat line, we'll just draw that first. It curves down this way. Then the, there's a horseshoe in here, but we'll just do the other side. Right down to there. And then the horseshoe is this big letter U shape. In there. We do the other side. And then it has these boxes on the end. So it's got like, like this. And you gotta make them look a little bit 3D. So it's got like an edge line. Like that. And then you do the same thing over here. Side line looks like shadow really <clears throat> like that and then we got an inside edge on the horseshoe itself and then some rectangles
Right, so then kind of the rest of his hat will do that. So there's all hair coming out here, but like the rest of his hat kind of goes up this way, right? So this is like the outside of it. Bumps around. There's, there's all these fold lines and stuff on it. That's right, and then so he's got like a piece of hair that stick out. You can't see it. We can only see it on one side, I think. So we'll just bring this around to meet this, right? And then he's got like a little spike of hair that sticks out from the middle of the hat. There, I think there's another one up here. Like so. Okay. And then, so there's all details in there, like stars and horses and fold lines and stuff. And I'll just, they're done with hatching, but I'll just do it sort of a bit simpler. You can, you can do with hatching if you want. Like this, yeah. If you want to do all that hatching, you can. And there's like an edge to the hat here, like the edge of the rim. And this will have some hatching lines on it as well. As I said, there's way more detail, and if you want to do it, you know, work away. Um, so then the horse inside here, right? So we got his neck there, and then the jaw here, and this goes up like that, and then it goes up to an open mouth, right? And around like this, and this goes across. So, and he's got an eye like in here, and a nostril there, and then spike out this way, and back down there. And we got stars all over the hat, so. Stars, they can be tricky enough to draw. So you just could do two arms like that and then down like that. Okay. And you just do that in a couple of places on his hat. Right, and then, so we'll go down, and like his neck is all in shadow, but I might, I might just draw in some neck muscles, right, just to sort of make it a bit easier. So, let's say we got like a hair spike sticking out here. It was like this, these texture lines inside. And then some more hair just coming out this way back in and all texture lines like 
like so, and then almost more over here, hair spikes. So and right. So it's basically hair. And like our image kind of stops here. So we can't see. We can just see like we can just see like his shoulder going across this way and down right and it basically stops up here somewhere it stops here and then this is all in shadow under here I won't I was going to draw in neck muscles but I won't now because I think you have to sort of make it up and I don't want to ruin it so it's all black in here so I'll just color that black at the end and then so his other shoulder goes this way and down there's all fold lines and fabric lines and things all here goes up around that way it's like some hatching here like his chest or something this way I guess if we had to draw a neck muscle, you'd probably put one there somewhere. Maybe like an Adam's apple, and then another neck muscle there. I'm doing it now. <laughs> right, so kind of like that. But of course, Araki would do it all with hatching, but that's going to end up being black. But just if you didn't want to sort of color it in. That's the way I would do it. Right, and then his sleeve down this way and like some shoulder muscle area. This is like dark in shadow here as well. And this is like an edge or a rim. Some more folds here. And like these black sort of trailing lines that go around all the folds for his clothing, which is which is plenty. Right, and our image again kind of just stops here, so we can't see anything over here. Okay, but that's Johnny, right? So let's go over and do gyro now. So I think the easiest place to begin is like his nose, right? So you're just out from Johnny's head a little bit. His eye will be like here and his nose here. So you're about half the width of Johnny's face over, I'd say. So like here to here, boom. Yeah, about that. So his nose will be like here. <clears throat> out pretty pointy so there okay so it's like this upside down seven or or a letter l right and then it kind of curves over here and then we've got these sort of frown lines he's kind of frowning pretty heavily And then we have a nostril there. And then it comes around to there. And then like some lines just on the nose there like that. Some hatching maybe on the side. So if you know where sort of top of his nose and his brow and stuff 
his eyebrow goes underneath his hat. So we'll just start with the eye sort of here. So we've got this top eyelid just across here. And again, it's quite, it's a big, thick. Jojo eye. Sticks up over the eyelashes as well. There, like that. And then this will go down this way. Across here. And then we'll have some like. Make this darker sort of on the edge. It's not thick on the bottom. Kind of like that sort of shape. And his actual eye is drawn in, like the eyeball. So it like goes around the iris, down to there. And then the iris itself, an oval sort of shape. Around there. And he's looking up, right? So it's so his pupil is like, Here and we've got like it's colored in black, and then there's a bit of a highlight left there. That's a tricky eye position now, it's not easy. So take your time with that, kind of pause it maybe. And then eyelash lines, so on the bottom just there. Shadow on his underneath his eyelid here as well. Shadow there. Right, and we can't we can't see so his hat, right? His hat goes across just here, so we can't see like the top of his head. His hat cuts across there and it goes further like down this way. And again, the image stops here. So if you want to bring the hat the rest of the way, you can, but it just stops right there. And then we'll add his eyebrow underneath, right? So he's a big sort of frowning sort of eye there. And that's all sort of hatched in and drawn in. Sort of like that, and then it comes down here. And then we got an eyelid line. Curves around underneath the hat. All right, we go down now and try and finish his face. So his lips, again, big sticking out, right? So it goes out, goes in. Out for the bottom lip, real big. Like that, right? And then, so we'll draw them in. Big green top lip. Down this way. And you can see some of his teeth, right? So it goes up, down. Like that. And then some teeth. So you just leave this white if you're coloring there. Then another line coming down from the nose. And then the bottom lip. So go around this way. Sort of here. And then the line for the chin. And there's like so all hatching underneath this. His chin kind of sticks out this way. Round here.
Now, so he's looking up, right? So we can see sort of his jaw, right? So the line for his jaw sort of goes this way. And his neck goes down here, like so. And then we can see his hair or his sideburns or something up here. So it's pretty close to, yeah, pretty close to his eyebrow. It's like a sideburn. There's like this texture line on his hair, like that. And then he's got those squares, those golden things on his face. Not sure what they are really. He's got him right, like that, and he seems to have like some hatching here as well, it's like his cheekbone. <clears throat> There's loads more hatching in there, so you can add that if you want. And right on his neck, then we've got like a shadow that comes over over his throat, there and up, and then there's all hatching inside here. Right, loads of hatching inside here. Okay, and then we have the line for his neck, kind of comes down this way. We just finish the bottom portion and then do his hat. So, his clothing, down like so, and he's got the long hair, long blonde hair, like this, and then there. I like lots of texture on this hair as well. And if we go back up to his eyebrow, right, this kind of sticks out a little bit here. And kind of, what is that? What am I looking? It's like this white section, but I don't know what it is. Weird, 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 weird. So this is probably a long video because this is kind of a complicated drawing. I don't know what I'm looking at here, but there's this like, is it part of his hat? Is it like his eyebrow? I don't know. Let's draw it in. So it goes around this way. I really don't know what this is. So if you're looking at the image, you'll know what I mean if you find this cover. There's this thing on this side of his eyebrow. I have no idea what it is. But we'll draw it in because it's there. Right, so then the rest of his hat, right? So it kind of like comes out from his lip. And again, it kind of, the image stops here. So you can't see the rest. And then he's got these gaps. So these kind of holes in his hat, right? And then the rest of the rim and things. So we go this way 
I don't get like another sort of rim edge line. Just go on this way. And he's got goggles, right? So he's got these big goggles, circular, round, big yokes. One there. Never seen him wear them. Maybe he does in one scene. And then these have oval kind of things in them as well gaps like this and with some like shadows inside like it's all shadowy down here make some more so of those whole lines on his hat That. And then some more slits in the goggles. that and then go this way so these are like shadows inside like that and then there's like an edge or rim to this and then like all this hatching and stuff on these way more in the picture but I'll just do the basic sort of kind of like that and then this goes behind Johnny's head these goggles more sort of shadow down here Sharpie is nearly wasted. And then the top of his hat. Is that way. And he has some more of those holes in the hat. And some shadows on this side. Some hatching. Something else here. Right, but that's it. Oh, wait. The top lip has some hatch lines on it as well. And now that's it. Hope was helpful. Jealous. Thanks for the request. Anyone else who has specific requests, head on over to Patreon and I'll get to it as quickly as I can if you can afford it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.